Are you sure that reselling is that easy and it's a great way of making money? Stay tuned. Hello again ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I sell cheap ladies clothing on eBay UK. Today I would like to talk about things that other resellers who upload videos on YouTube often don't talk. Most of those so-called eBay gurus often will show you reselling on eBay as a, yeah, like a unicorns farting rainbows guys. That easy works every time, no problem, no pitfalls. Coco Jumbo full steam ahead. Well, it's not that simple, guys. It can be stressful, it can be hard, it can be tiring, and it can be boring as hell. So, is reselling on eBay easy, in my opinion? Well, if you compare it to being, a, I don't know, dentist or plumber or, I don't know, road worker, yes, you can say it's easy. But if you think it's like coming to work, not giving a shit for 37 and a half hours a week, and then getting paid 250 quid on Friday, then no, it's not that easy. You don't know, you don't need formal education or qualification, yeah, to be a reseller, but you still need some knowledge. And if you don't like to learn, and you don't like to learn almost every day something new, then reselling may not be a good option, yeah. I mean, guys, the fact that something is selling today for good money doesn't mean it will sell in two years or in three years. For example, today is way much harder to source used clothing cheap than it was in 2017, 2018, guys. Way much harder. Also, guys, reselling can be time consuming. I mean, to the point where business starts to be questionable. You go to the car boot sale or to charity shops, you spend hours and hours and hours looking for stock and there is no guarantee that you will find anything. And then when you run it as a business, you have to find something. Yeah, you have to find something because if you don't find anything, you've got no business anymore. Say you spend four or five hours sourcing and you end up with a stock that is worth 50, 60 quid. And you have to still put time in those items, you know, to prep them, to photograph them, list them, pack them, dispatch them, all that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, you work for five, five pounds per hour, which basically makes no sense. And this is not some abstract situation, guys. That can happen to anybody, really. Even most experienced resellers can go to car boot sale and they, they may not find anything. If you do it as a full-time job, it can be very, very stressful. If that's your main source of income and, you know, you rely on that income heavily, there is no option that items don't sell. They have to sell because you have to pay your bills. And, you know, eBay tends to be inconsistent, you know that. You know, as soon as you start reselling after a week or two, you know that eBay is inconsistent. Sometimes you got a lot of sales. Sometimes it's hard to sell hardly anything. Sometimes you earn a lot and there is that urge to go and spend that extra money. But then the dry time comes and you've got not enough money to pay yourself bare minimum. Yeah. In other words, eBay will not guarantee you that when you work 40 hours this week, you will end, end up with 250 quid on Friday or whatever your goal is to, to, to earn. What I tend to do is, say you want to pay yourself, I don't know, a thousand pounds at the end of the month, yeah, but you've earned 1500. 
Just leave that 500 in a bank for dry months and then pay yourself a thousand only. And then when the dry month comes, you just top it up with the money from the good months. You know, also it is worth to say that when you run your business, your own business, no, nobody will guarantee you that you're going to get a pay raise, you know, every year, you know, in line with that uh, rising costs of living. Because, you know, it's your business. You have to give yourself that a pay raise. Another one, guys. It takes money and time to put your reselling business onto some sort of a reasonable level. You can start with 20 quid. Yes, you can. But if it will take you a lot of time to reach that point where eBay pays your bills. It would be way much easier if you could invest, I don't know, two, three, four thousand pounds. You know, the more stock you start with, the sooner you will reach that velocity and, and things will start to roll. Yeah, guys, it, for some people, yeah, e even I would say for most people, not having a boss is a great thing. But for some other people, it may be a disaster, guys. You know, I've been working in a job that started uh, uh, five o'clock in the morning for years. Yeah. So I had to wake up, you know, quarter past four every single day. And I had no major problem with that because I knew that I have to. Yeah. Or I knew that I had to because I don't work there anymore. It was nailed into my brain, yeah, that if I won't get up, I will, I will be late, you know, at work and I will have some problems. As a reseller, you don't have a boss, yeah, and you, if you are not strong enough to push yourself, there is nobody to push you, yeah. It, it's bloody easy to say, oh, I'm, I'm tired today or... I've got enough for today, I, I, I call it a day, or or even I need a day off, I'm, I'm just too tired, I've, I've got no heart for eBay, I'm, I need a day off. And, and then it can easily turn into a habit. Yeah? When you work in a regular job and you go on holiday or you take a day off or you feel not, you are not feeling so good and you go home a bit earlier, there is often somebody who will do your work, you know, or at least some of that work. As a sole trader, you go on holiday and your work just waits, just waits for you until you come back. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody will, you know, kind of replace you or nobody will, you know, do their job and a bit of yours. And then when you come back from that holiday, you have to work double speed to catch up. Because if you won't catch up, that holiday will be unpaid, really. Because nobody will do the job for you. It's a common myth, guys, that when, when you are self-employed or, you know, you are eBay reseller or any other kind of self-employment, really, you can do whatever you want. And you've reached that so-called freedom, yeah? It, it's not true, guys. I've been more free when I was working in a regular job because when you are a sole trader, when you are self-employed, you tend to think about your business 24 hours a day. And it's not healthy, guys. It's not healthy to think about the business all the time. You know, you, you can't stay in bed when you are not in a good mood. You, you have to at least get up and do the dispatch. So, you know, you still have to listen to your boss, but you are the boss now. Yeah? You, you are your own boss and it's really hard to be your, your own boss because you have to push yourself, not somebody else. Nobody will push you. You have to push yourself, guys. You know, it, again, when you work from home, it's, it's, it's easy to say, all oh, right, I, I, I'm going to leave it like that for a moment and I'll take 20 minutes and do this and do that, 
you know, you know, around the house. I'll take my dog for a walk. Yeah, or I don't know, I'll go and I don't know, do some gardening. You know, you do it often enough and at the end of the month your income is halved suddenly. You know, in a regular in in a regular job, you wouldn't even think about, you know, taking 20 minutes to do something else. You just go there and start nine, finish five, and then you go home and do something else. You know what I mean? And now, guys, there is one most important thing that not many of those YouTube resellers will tell you. Yeah? If reselling is your hobby, you love that treasure hunt, you love to photograph items, you love that extra money that it brings you, yeah? You love to go to car boot sale and, you know, interact with people or something like that. It's great, yeah? But when you start to do it as a business, when you start to do it as a main source of income, yeah, you may not even notice when your hobby turns into a job. And just like that, you've lost your hobby because it's not hobby anymore. It, it has turned from fun to chore, yeah? And that's the end of the hobby, that's the end of fun. If it's a chore, if it's a job, if you have to do it, that's not a hobby anymore. And if you reach certain point in your reselling, certain level in your reselling, it starts to be repetitive as hell. Photographing 100 items in one go can be boring, believe me. There is not much fun in it. Or listing for a whole day can be boring as well. And it is boring, believe me. I've been listing 50 to 100 items a day for months. There is nothing that you can call fun in it. Listing five items a day can be a hobby, but listing 50 or 100 items a day, it's not a hobby anymore. It's a bloody hard work. Another problem is storage, guys. Your stock can quite easily and quite quickly overwhelm your house and your life. There is a fine line, guys, between a reseller and a hoarder. Yeah, you end up with renting storage space, then bigger one, then another one, and you've got two storage units and on, or three storage units, and you're racking up the costs and you're racking up the headaches. You may end up with a divorce because your wife or husband doesn't understand your business and he or she doesn't like the fact that living room is full of some shit. Again, it's not something to laugh about, yeah? It's something that happens, yeah? It's not like, oh, it's something to, that happens to others. It, it won't happen to me. Yes, it will. It may. I'm not saying it definitely will, but it may happen. I've been there. I've, I've done that, you know. My wife has a, had a point in her life where, you know, my reselling stuff was all over the house and she didn't like it. And I, I understand that she didn't like it. I had to figure out something to get it out of her sight, really. Now she, she's more into it. She understands it better. She, she accepts a bit more than she used to. But it's a fact, guys. You, you have to think about your other half. You know, the business, your business, it's not her business or his business. It's your business. And either you kind of incorporate your other half to your business and you will do it together. Or you have to, you know, bend over backwards to keep your business or your storage a bit out of sight. You know, there must be a line between your business and your life. Or you are in trouble, guys. Last thing before I finish, guys, because that is almost 15 minutes now. There is no magic formula to, to the reselling. Yeah? Do this and that and you will be successful. Yeah? It's n nothing like that. Sorry for the horn. 
some idiots on the street outside of the window. Uh, everybody's circumstances is, is, you know, are different. What works for one person doesn't have to work for the other. One can find luxury items, you know, in every other charity shop. And one will never find it in their area because it's not an affluent area and there is no such thing in those charity shops. Watching others, say on YouTube, can be helpful. But remember that everybody is different. Eh? Yeah, And nobody likes to brag about failures. Nobody will tell you, I've gained successful business, but my wife divorced me. <laughs> yeah. Nobody will say that. Nobody will tell you, yeah, I sell a lot, but I don't have enough space in my living room to watch a telly. Yeah. Nobody will tell you, I earn shit loads, but I work, you know, dust till down nonstop. And I want to tell you one thing, guys. Be vigilant, because there are traps and problems in reselling. It's not only unicorns farting rainbows. Yeah? If you lose your focus, it can turn into a nightmare. You have to expand your knowledge. You have to work hard. You have to remember about your family. You have to watch your stress level. You have to remember that there are things more important in life than your business. Yeah? And I'm not saying don't go into reselling. I'll, st I'll still say reselling is great. Reselling can, can make you happy. You know, you can earn money while doing something that is fun, that you like. You know, you can still earn money without thinking that you are doing, you know, that you are working in a job. Yeah, but you have to be careful. That's it for today, guys. Have a happy week. Enjoy the summer that is approaching quickly. We have a beautiful weather today in Poland. Don't forget about COVID. Yeah, stay focused. Don't get it because it's shit. I'll see you next time, guys. God bless you all and bye-bye.